all depends how your body feels no Coco no no hi everyone welcome back to my channel today again I'm going to share another amazing video with you guys about DMSO and I'm gonna show you how to make a strong hair spray out of this amazing substance which you can use it and you can really accelerate the hair growth and also is going to prevent your hair fall if you do not know what DMSO is please go to my previous video which I linked down in the description of this video so you can find out what this amazing substance is and also you should know that if you have under any medical observation you have to consult with your doctor before using DMSO on any part of your body sorry guys I had to bring my little pet with me because he was just making so much noise so he had to be here with me to keep quiet I hope hopefully about this spray uh, what I need to tell you is that uh, how you should use it is all depend on you some people use this spray every single day and some people they use it only once a week some people they use it every alternate day so it's all really depend on you how you feel how your body feel about it so what my suggestion is that you just put it on and then see how you feel uh, if you can take it and you want to have it every single day you can just do it or you can just choose when to use it so it's all up to you but this is a leave-in spray you're not gonna wash it after spraying your hair so keep that in your mind as you can see guys this spray is in a glass bottle as you know that you need to keep the MSO in a glass container but one more important thing that so many people will question is that the tube for this spray is out of plastic so as we told in the previous videos we are not gonna let any plastic to be in contact with DMSO well I have to tell you the glass sprays that you usually buy from the market the tube is made out of PET pet plastic and pet plastic is one of the compatible plastic with the MSO it means if your uh, pet plastic is coming in contact with the MSO solution nothing is gonna happen to the MSO and nothing is gonna be wrong so uh, just keep that in your mind and be sure that all the glass spray sold out there the tube inside is made out of pet plastic which is compatible so uh, have a peace of mind so let's go and i'll share with you how to make this amazing uh, spray and how to keep it first we are going to prepare aloe vera juice i am doing it from this scratch because i want a complete natural aloe vera juice but you are welcome to go and buy a natural aloe vera juice if you want to i bought organic aloe vera fruit and then i started by peeling it and taking the meat inside After what I did is that I just put them all inside the blender and simply blended it until it turned out to the liquid. Then I simply strained the juice and then covered it and then kept it in the fridge. I am going to use only a portion of this juice so to be able to preserve this juice I just poured it into the ice cube mold and kept it in the freezer which they remain nicely for over three months and whenever I want I take one cube and use it to make this spray of course you need a glass container spray and you need DMSO pharma grade 99.99% .99 pure 
You need peppermint pure essential oil, which I'm using the organic one. And also you need lavender essential oil. You can replace the lavender essential oil with rosemary essential oil is all up to you. First measure 150 ml of DMSO in a glass or pottery container. Pour the DMSO inside the glass of spray. Then measure 60 ml of the aloe vera juice that you made or you just bought. Make sure you stir the aloe vera juice before pouring it. Add the measured aloe juice inside the glass of spray as well. Then you need to measure 90 ml of the distilled water. You do not want to use any other kind of water. You need to only use distilled water for any kind of DMSO usage and recipe. Add the water also inside the spray bottle. Now into the bottle, we are going to add 18 drops of lavender oil or if you're using rosemary oil and 12 drops of peppermint oil. Now our spray recipe is ready. Simply close the lid and shake it gently and your spray is ready to go. Spray this bottle on your scalp mainly and massage it. Make sure you are using a good amount of this spray all over your scalp, covering everywhere and massage it with your fingertips. You can put a cover or you can just tie your hair up. So this way you will feel much more comfortable after the spray. Keep that in your mind that this is a leaving spray and you do not need to wash or rinse your hair after spraying with this spray. I usually spray it in the bedtime, then I cover my hair and then go to bed. Some very important information you need to know if you're using this spray on your hair is that first of all, if you're using a natural aloe vera juice, you need to keep this spray inside the fridge after the usage and use this spray within seven days so make sure that the amount that you are making is only enough for seven days if you are only using your own aloe vera made juice if you are using a ready preserved aloe vera juice from outside you might not need to do this and you can just keep it in the room temperature if you use the natural homemade aloe vera juice and kept your spray inside the fridge, the next day you will notice that the DMSO started to solidify because simply DMSO will solidify if you keep it in the lower temperature. If this happens to you, which also happened to me, what I do is that simply I open the lid of my glass spray and I just keep the spray inside the microwave for less than 60 minutes on a medium high temperature and then after that the spray is good to go for the next use another important information that you want to know is that i noticed during the time that i used this spray and when i slept i saw that some of my hair color which i had on my hair started to come off as you can see my pillow cover is just stained by my hair color so you won't want to know that if you use this spray you might a little bit lose your original hair color if you color your hair with anything also it is very very important to quit your chemical shampoo and conditioner if you are using this spray because when you're using DMSO on your scalp everything else that you are putting on your scalp is going to be absorbed to your body so you do not want to use any chemical shampoo or conditioner on your hair what I did that I quit using my chemical shampoo and conditioner and I ordered this natural soap and conditioner bar which is completely chemical free and all natural it is infused with rosemary and lavender essential oil which promotes the hair growth and prevent the hair fall I will link down all the products that I'm using in this video at the description box of the video including this shampoo and conditioner bar as well as 
link to the best purest dmso that you can get also i tried this shampoo and conditioner bar and i'm really happy with them they are amazing and i'm gonna continue this one on my hair i would never go back to chemical shampoos ever since i'm using this hair spray and also change my shampoo and conditioner my hair is alive it's feeling so light and beautiful and bouncy i had a very very damaged and dry hair i was not even able to comb nicely and as you can see how changed my hair is and i'm really really happy with this spray and also the shampoo and conditioner 